Disclosure 4, Life Extension, Eternal Life. Premium Abrasics, as requested. I'm sorry for staring, but it's really quite astonishing. What is? It will be easier to show you. Could this get any weirder? Imagine it for me, meeting your mother long after she's passed away. But I'm not your mother. Your planet is just now entering its genetic age. You understand very little about something which is a vital part of our reality. You know, I've always wondered why they've allowed the growth of human population. More and more people keep getting added. We're over seven billion. I guess, you know, we must be a farm, we must be livestock, we must be a crop, and they're gonna harvest us. So why else would they allow for the population expansion? It's it's gonna be so out of control, yet it continues to expand. In our world, genes have an almost spiritual significance. They are the seeds of our immortality. I always wondered about life expectancy. So this lady gets to live to be 14,000 and her mother was 80,000 years old. So, I mean, that could be fictional, but at the same time, life expectancy fluctuates throughout time. So who's to say how long we should actually live? When the exact same genes reappear in the exact same order, it is for us what you would call reincarnation. They briefly touched on reincarnation there. But how could I be a reincarnation of your mother unless your mother was from Earth? My mother was born before your first cities were built. Are you some kind of vampire race? <laughs> we are the cause of a lot of those myths. But I promise my mother was just as human as you or I. The difference between us is our knowledge and technology. So the breakaway civilization has advanced technology that you don't have and you probably paid for their breakaway civilization technology and then they feed you inaccurate incorrect science and information so that you'll never come to these discoveries on your own they'll have these discoveries for hundreds and hundreds of years advancing their breakaway civilization while you work with limited physics limited knowledge and limited options to build to learn how old do you think I am? Oh, late 40s? I recently celebrated my 14th millennium. You're 14,000 years old? 14,004, to be precise. Dude, are you seeing this? My mother was approaching her 91st millennium when she passed. You'd be just as amazed how quickly it goes. Somebody owns everything on the planet. All of the buildings, Somehow the land is all owned. Everything is owned by somebody. So who owns the whole planet? And where does that exchange take place? If your lives are so long, could I ask you how your mother actually died? She was murdered. My mother and I did not always get along. But I have a hope that this recurrence might mean a second chance for both of us. Come, let me introduce you to the possibilities of your new life. Kowski's told you in 1998 that you're being harvested and grown, and they told you again in 2015. Each of us has a code for our optimal physical condition. The problem is our genes have an expiration date, which is transferred to ourselves. This movie is a giant disclosure of the breakaway civilization. I don't think the Wachowskis just made this to create a nice work of fiction. A long time ago, someone figured out how to replace deteriorating cells with new ones. Today, it's as easy as changing a light bulb. Where do you get these light bulbs? You grow them. Like clones? That you're being harvested and grown. No. 
Clones lack genetic plasticity. Several million years ago, a gene plague caused by cloning nearly annihilated the entire human race. I was told that the house of a brass exceeded the earth. Is that where you get it? Your earth is a very small part of a very large industry. Somebody owns everything on the planet. Feel my skin. Oh, wow. In your world, people are used to fighting for resources. Like oil or minerals or land. But when you have access to the vastness of space, you realize there's only one resource worth fighting over. Even killing for. More time. Time is the single most precious commodity in the universe. Over and over again on my channel, I'm always bitching about not having enough time and that my time is being wasted and stolen. So sorry, I, I just don't understand what you mean when you say claim your title. Well, it's common for people in the first estate to leave a trust for any potential recurrence. My mother wrote her future self into her will. Right now, Balem owns the title to Earth, but once you claim it, the Earth will belong to you. Hey, that's pretty slick, writing your reincarnated self into your will as your heir. You are the heir to your own fortune. How can one person own the Earth? It's just a planet, Jupiter. In this world, people own things far more valuable. You cannot know right now what it will be like when you're offered wealth beyond your imagining. When you can choose to remain young and beautiful. Or when you can have the power to change the lives of your family for the better. And all you have to do is close your eyes. All you have to do is close your eyes. Which means just don't look at the evil. And don't ask any questions. I guess, you know, the evil is going to happen anyway, so if you get the upper hand and you can be part of this little elite system, you might as well just keep your mouth shut, right? Just don't look. That's what everybody does. That's why things stay exactly the way they are. I'm the only idiot running my mouth. Why am I doing this? Why? Why don't I take some abrasics and gain eternal life? This must be the hunter Titus hired. Well made by the look of him. Whoa, no, 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 hey, hey! It's okay, she's on our side. Abrasics don't know any side but their own. Precisely. And since Jupiter is an Abrasics, you can understand why I helped to get off that planet. He has... I wish for you the life you've always dreamed of. All of those bottles, each bottle was made from a hundred people. What is that? It has many names. Regenex, Resell, Nectar. There are various levels of usefulness and quality, but this is the most pure and most valuable solution made by the House of Brassix. Kali came out of a bath. Naturally, my sister didn't explain what it is or where it comes from. It comes from people. Soil and green is people. Each unit is refined from approximately a hundred human beings. What? Your planet is a farm. Your planet is a farm. There's a great video on YouTube by Stefan Molyneux called Tax Farmers, the hand guide to human ownership. You really should watch it. Jupiter. There are thousands of planets like yours set up by families like mine to supply an ever-increasing demand for more time. And remember in the island, the clones were used for an ever-increasing demand for to live longer. You say you killed a hundred people to make this? Not me, but yes, someone did. Not like butchering a herd of cattle. <gasps> oh my God. It's all right. 
to her. My mother went through a profound change at the end of her life. She felt exactly as you do now. But when she tried to do something to stop this business, she was murdered. I believe the same thing's about to happen to me because I began to carry out the work she started. 